Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own Among Us Discord bot. It is used to, you know, host games like it mutes people, it deafens people so people don't hear when the game has started and stuff. So first, we'll go to my GitHub, which is github.com, Reconnex Among Us Discord bot. Okay, we'll use a few applications. First, Installing Node.js. You need to install Node.js. Simply go node.js.org slash en. All links will be in the description, so you don't need to worry. Install, I recommend you to install this, the one on the left. Next, install Visual Studio Code. This is used to modify the code and change one of the sections of the code that I will teach you later on. Okay. Next, you need to make an application okay so open open it up discord.com slash developers slash applications then there shouldn't be anything here if you never used an application before don't worry just click new application okay this name you can put it anything you want for me I'll put among us discord bot okay okay so after you have created it, you want to make a bot. So press bot and then press a make a bot. Okay, add a bot. Just do it. Okay, let's just say, uh, and then I'll add a profile picture for it so it looks a little bit more cooler. Okay, boom. Then you want to go, uh, okay, next say download the code in this repo, repo okay anything you want to call it just click here download zip open the zip up minimize this okay pull this down uh, I'll put the music a little louder okay then close this one, once you have downloaded Visual Studio Code, just open it up. Okay. Okay, you will see something like this. Okay, just press File. Open Folder. Find for among us discord bot main click it out one time click select folder okay so let's wait for it to load okay it should look something like this command handler config json some files okay okay so next step you want to go to your chrome Discord developers portal here you want to copy the token just click here copy okay make sure it's in bot okay click copy go to video studio code find this file called config.json okay change this with your bot token then remember to save it save it okay perfect Remember not to share this code with anybody because this they, they might cause harm to your bot. Okay. Next, you want to go to. Oh, you want to open terminal, terminal, new terminal, and then you go npmi this uh, RC table. Okay, and PMI RC table, hit enter, wait for it to load. In the meanwhile, let's invite the bot. Just copy this client ID. Okay, just replace the client ID. I'll send this link. I'll send this link uh, on how to invite the bot to your server. Okay, selecting. Let's wait for it to load. Okay, change this with a client ID. Boom. Okay, 
So you see Among Us Discord bot, just add it to your server. In this case, I'm gonna add to YouTube tutorials. Okay, I'll demonstrate the bot later on. I'm not a robot. Okay. Oh, not this. Uh, I hate doing captures. Okay, we passed the capture. Okay, it looks something like this. Authorize may close. Okay, I'll close this. Okay, and then we go to the. Okay, so this is server, and you can see. Uh, ignore that. You can see that the bot is invited to the server. Okay, among us, this one bot. Okay, so now we'll go back to Visual Studio Code. Okay, as you can see, it's already. Uh, they already downloaded the RC table. Okay, now we can run the bot. We can turn the bot on. I mean, like, we can turn the bot on. Yeah. So, node index.js, which is the main file. Enter. Okay, you can see that all of the files has a tick on it beside it. And then the, your bot's name will be here. And then you put a tick. It means your bot is online, supposedly. Okay, look. The bot is online now. Okay. So now you're gonna run AU help. It will send you this link, just click on it. It will bring you to the commands. Commands. Okay. So basically, if you want to run any of these commands, you need to have a role. It's like a permission. So if you are not a moderator and you, you don't have the role, you can't run any of these commands. This will make that the random users, they can't use the commands if the server staff doesn't allow them. So first, we need to run au setup. This will create a role for the guild or server. Let's say I need, okay, so you need to give the bot administrator permissions. So just do it by creating a role. Creating a role, uh, ignore that too. Okay, just create a role. You can name it anything uh, like Among Us bot, and then you can, you must give it administrator permissions. Okay, just save changes, close it, add the role to your bot. Okay, so now it should work. AU setup. Oops. Are you set up? Boom. Okay. Among Us setup completed. Okay. Now, it should has already created a row called Among Us moderator. Yes. So, in order to run any of these commands, any of these commands, I need to be in a server. I mean, in a voice channel. So, I'm going to go in a voice channel. Then you go. Let's use uh, the start command. Command is used when it, when the game is started. Okay, AU start. This command can only be used by members. This is because I don't have the rule among us moderator rule. I don't have this rule. So, in order to run this command, I need to have the rule called among us moderator. Add it to a user or any person that you want to give permissions to. Okay. So now let's run AU start. Okay, so it worked. So now it's gonna deafen everybody. So basically, when the game starts, and then uh, everybody will be doing tasks, and the imposter will kill the crewmates. So they'll mute everybody, so nobody can hear nobody doing tasks, and talk no talking will be allowed. Okay, let's say the game has ended. I mean, it's a voting session, so you can use this command, au vote, among us vote, boom. Okay, so it undefines everybody, so now everybody can hear everybody, and you guys can discuss, and discuss who to vote to. Once someone has been voted, or someone is dead, after the 
after the game has started you can use AU okay now let's run the dead command okay so example like if somebody died and you want to mute them you just run this AU dead on boom just tag the user and they will be get muted so they wouldn't be able to talk and they wouldn't so yeah recon was ejected okay so let's find the next command which is uh, AU revive okay let's say that you accidentally killed someone wrongly you accidentally used this command wrongly and you want to unmute them just do this AU revive recon okay so you see he has revived me so I wouldn't be muted anymore okay so let's say that uh, the game has started uh, I mean start and then I'm also dead so let's say that you want to reset the game because uh, one of a friend is connected so you're just gonna do AU reset and then it will reset everybody's status like and definitely you yeah. so yeah if there's anything any problems okay you can visit you can visit my discord server here I'll provide support for this discord bot if you don't modify the details of the bot so yeah good luck have fun